Hi, I'm B, and I am the Principal Health Coach here at Melbourne Functional Medicine. Today I'd love to have a conversation with you about what you can do now through the holiday season to set yourself up for optimal health. So a lot of people around the Christmas period might start thinking about their health and what they can do to improve it. My invitation to you is it's probably not the right time of year to be doing it and so I'd love to take this opportunity to share some strategies with you about what we can do so that we can promote great health going forward. Something that's quite easy to do is to fall into the habit that's a predictable pattern that was potentially even given to us by our parents or our family members. And that is this getting into the Christmas season, meeting a whole bunch of social obligations, drinking more, eating more, and doing things in a way that we perhaps normally don't. And so what can be really fantastic to do is instead of diving into this year, kind of unconsciously, if we start going through it mindfully, we can have a whole different experience. So I've got an invitation for you. And basically it's a short plan where we can work together so that in January we can start implementing some real change. But before we invite change, what we want to know now is what's actually happening in your life at this point that we will be working on later. I'd love to introduce to you the idea of personal health literacy. What does that even mean? Basically, it's the idea that we understand our bodies so well, so intimately, and we're so tuned into our bodies and the feedback that they're giving us, that we're better informed and better able to make good decisions for our future health and our current health, actually. And so I'll give you an example of that. Um, we could use sleep as an example. So I do pretty well if I sleep well every night and I have one bumpy night. If I have a second night of suboptimal sleep, things sort of start getting a little bit wobbly and I don't operate so well. But if I have a third night in a row where I don't sleep well, you can forget about it. My brain doesn't work, um, I'm grumpy, it's just like nothing works for me. So for my personal health literacy, sleep's one of those pillars that are really, really important. How I apply this is if I have one night of bad sleep, that for me is a little bit of a, a warning sign or a trigger and I start really paying attention to the variables and the things that will impact my sleep. That means food, it means alcohol and things like sleep hygiene and setting myself up for a good night's sleep. And so I'm going to prioritize that part of my health knowing that there's a chance that it might be affected again and if it does the outcome is going to be significant. So personal health literacy really is about understanding all of the feedback your body gives you, hearing the feedback and having the, the knowledge and the skills to be able to make the appropriate change based on that. So as we head into the Christmas season where things are going to naturally get a little bit busier and we have come out of lockdown so people are a little bit more excited about going out and socialising, what we really want to do is use this as an opportunity to learn, to gather information and to get really curious about what our bodies are telling us. When we connect again in January, we're going to be offering some strategies around what we do with this information. But instead of going into December and the holiday and, and festive season thinking that this is the time to make change, um, I'd, I'd really invite the flip on that. Instead, go ahead and have a fantastic festive season, but with the mindset of using that time to really learn um, and gather that information back so that when it's time to make change, we've got a baseline of information that we work with. So how do we do this? What does all this actually mean from a practical perspective? Well, um, one of the ways that you can um, start learning and advancing your personal health literacy is to start tracking data. Um, so I guess we can kind of think about people in, in two ways. There are some people for whom um, understanding their bodies and hearing what they're telling um, us is actually quite intuitive. We get a gut feeling, we know what feels right and we intuitively get that sense. There are a whole lot of people for whom that's not true. And so if you're in that group of people, tracking the data can be really helpful. That might mean keeping a diary, uh, which we will supply you with, or a symptom tracker. 
And all you need to do for that is um, have the habit or the mindfulness around actually writing down, um, this is perhaps what I ate, this is how I slept, um, those variables that play into your health and what the outcomes are, what symptoms do you experience and what do those symptoms look or feel like for you. So if you'd like to do this Christmas season differently, or certainly approach the new year in a new way, making smart goals and changes, um, why don't you click on the PDF and download the tracking guide and start using the month ahead of us as an opportunity to gather some data and learn. And from the team here at Melbourne Functional Medicine, have a wonderful Christmas and we very much look forward to supporting you in the year ahead.